morning Cho squad welcome back to another video so today is exciting because we are in the boys room this is probably gonna be my favorite room to decorate because I want them to have like their own little experience oasis of kid fun <laughs> whatever you want to call it so uh, today we're going to be transforming their room I'm about to show y'all what it looks like before now I do have some before pictures of when it looked even worse like with all their stuff but I did unpack their clothes but this is what it's looking like right now when you walk in like you can't walk in <laughs> So y'all see we got boxes everywhere i think i'm gonna keep their beds in this position but i'm gonna take this front part off of travel's bed and i do need to tighten it because when they put them back together well it don't seem that loose but when i put them back together it wasn't that tight maybe it was that one it wasn't that tight so we're gonna transform this space i did get them some dinosaur um things this is some of the dinosaur stuff that i have and then the rest of the stuff is in the living room you guys will see once i start putting it together so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Hey y'all, it's Voice Over Trophy here. So uh, first I started by just repositioning everything and trying to clean out as much stuff as I could so I can make space. It was just too much stuff in there to even think right. Now I'm just mapping out the room. I wanted the boys to have as much space as, as possible. So I put their beds to the side and then their toys and their bookshelves on the other side. So I'm just loading the toys and I got rid of so many toys. I'm so proud of myself. Look at these little dinosaur cars. I think Terrell got this for his birthday last year and I never opened it, but this would be perfect to go in their room and they'll have a good time playing with it. Dino Dash. See which one is the fastest. Yeah, this will go perfect. So I'll put this somewhere, maybe on that shelf for a little decor, as long as the decor will last until they miss it. <laughs> Got this little door hanger for them. It says Dino Snore. It's gonna be so cute in here. I just know it. I just know it. Now I'm just loosening the bolt on the bed so I can take off that front piece. This bed converts into a tile bed, and then they even said it converts to like a twin size bed if you get another piece because this could well that back part could be like the headboard part so yeah i think i'm just gonna ride with these beds i sometimes i'll be trying to do the most so we're gonna stick to these beds because these beds are just fine i'm talking to myself by the way y'all because i have a problem but anyway i am just uh, vacuuming out the room i love carpet y'all like i miss carpet so much the vacuum lines are so satisfying so yeah i took the front piece off of travel's bed because i want both of their beds to match and i wanted it to be like you know big boy toddler room and yeah, I just wanted to be just more aesthetically pleasing because he had a moment when he was biting on the crib and it just, it was just looking bad. So yeah, um, after I finished vacuuming up their room, I'm adding mattress covers to their beds, which is so very, very important when you have toddlers and then I'm just spraying it with some Febreze, y'all, every step. <laughs> of the process whenever I'm making up beds. I swear I love Febreze because I just love how it smells. But I got these uh, dinosaur sheets for them off of Amazon. Like I said, I will have all the links to everything y'all. I got, cause I, I bought so much stuff for this room. So I'm gonna have all the links to everything down below. Um, I had king size pillows, so I just put them in there. But later on, like a couple days later, cause this was a, a few day process. Um, I did get them some standard size pillows to put inside of those pillowcases. Hey y'all, I'm back up from my nap. We're about to continue. My stepdad is coming over here to help me hang up stuff. So this is a look at all of the dino stuff that we're gonna hang up. Well, I'm not hanging up. <laughs> you gonna hang up. This don't fit on the lights. I got these, they look it's so cute, but it doesn't fit on the light. The light switch is too thick. Look y'all, I hung this up earlier. I guess I didn't hang up the command strip thing good enough, but it came down. So we're gonna get that right. And then we're gonna hang up the boy's name signs.
I got these dinosaur cutout wooden cutouts from Hobby Lobby and at first Warren was trying to put it up he like it's weird it had you know like the kind of they have like where you you see the hole but you slide it and it was just too much so we just decided to put it up with the double-sided tape and that's much easier so i put up all three of the dinosaurs with the double-sided tape and then later on i'll put up the um the door sign with the double-sided tape i love double-sided tape like even though i'm not trophy the builder i think i'm gonna be using it on a lot of stuff because it's just easier um so it's the next day y'all <laughs> and i picked up this uh rod set from <laughs> look at me trophy the builder trophy the builder i picked up this rod set from um home goods y'all saw in the last vlog so y'all look <laughs> i did no measuring at all they already had some holes in there from i guess when other people had their curtains so i just followed those but i put mine a little bit wider than those holes and i think it hung up pretty nice pretty um straight so yes trophy to build i am so yeah y'all see i did keep some tools i'm not crazy i'm not just gonna throw away everything come on out or give away everything i kept the stuff that i needed like the drill and the, the screws and the hammer stuff like that but not all the extra stuff but anyway i'm hanging up these curtains that i got from amazon um just what who hangs up curtains like that look i'm missing it took me a couple times to get the curtains right like look how i look right now no i fixed it later on y'all but um yeah i got these blue ones from amazon because i was gonna get dinosaur but i think they'll just be doing too much i just wanted to keep it plain these are supposed to be blackout curtains i guess they are but since mine aren't long enough you guys will see they don't go all the way down i need to get i think i'm just gonna exchange it and get them a little longer they don't go all the way down so the light does come in and then um i did hang that dinosaur garland or whatever you want to call it over the ends of the curtain rod so i didn't have to put them in a wall or anything now i'm just putting up all of the cute books that the boys have they have a little bit more than this but obviously they won't all fit and i don't want the books to be too heavy these are just the ones that they'll probably use most often and then we can rotate them out So I ordered these bed bumpers off of Amazon. You guys know the traditional bed rails that people put for tilers. I wanted something that was just a little more pretty. A little, it just looked a little better because those rails do not look good. They don't look good. Uh, I, there was a rail that was supposed to come with my crib that matched and it was nice, but it's been in out of stock for like two years straight. But yeah, enough of that. I had to unravel that bed rail and let the foam um, get to its natural shape. So I just laid it out and then y'all oh sorry this video is going by so fast but i just wiped down the wall because i was going to do my decals and now i'm putting up the name sign the little man cave name sign i'm making sure to press really hard it did come with a plate like a little hook to hang it up but i took the hook off and um like unscrewed the hook and just made it so there was a flat surface so that it would fit on the door and not move every time the door opens and closes Okay, now we move on to the dinosaur tracks, y'all. <laughs> My wall is so freaking bumpy. So the stickers do not stick on the wall like they're supposed to, even though I cleaned it. Well, I didn't really clean too much. I just wiped it with water because I was afraid. I don't know. I was just afraid to like do too much. But I wiped it off with water and let it dry. And I stuck them on the wall like regularly and then like a few of them came back uh they were starting to come off so i use this spoon because it's so bumpy that you have to like really press in in between the bumps and everything and with me using this spoon it makes the bumps come through the um the little dinosaur steps so you guys will see when i do a little close-up but this was the best i could think of to do like y'all let me know what's another way because i i still have some left over and i'm willing to get a whole new pack if it looks better but honestly it looks okay um a lot of them already fell off so i just don't even know i feel like if i do double sided tape then it's gonna not really be pressed on the wall like what's something i could do to keep it pressed and flat on the wall 
But anyway, y'all saw I was looking at my phone because I just didn't know how dinosaur tracks are supposed to look. So I'm trying to make it look like the dinosaur is going in between the pictures. And I want to do it on that side because that's where I have the little dino tracks picture. And I just think that's cute. And then the dinosaur tracks are going to flow from, you know, between the door and everything. I thought it was a cute idea. I probably do need to, like, reposition it. But whatever. It still came out cute even though they, they half of the dang on steps are falling. But yeah, if you have a smooth wall, this will be great for you. If you have a bumpy wall like mine, probably not. Unless you guys know like some secret kind of way to hang these things up. Okay, y'all, it is the final step, which is putting the bed bumper on the boy's bed. Now, I I don't think I waited two hours. I think it was like an hour or so, and I just put it on there because I figured it'll just fluff out on its own, which it did. It, it's like much bigger now. And yes, y'all, it works. It's good. I recommend these. They look so much better. I'm so happy I went with this, um, this choice of child protection what <laughs> look at all of them y'all on that right side they fell off more because i didn't i don't think i it's because i didn't clean that side but anyway time for the room reveal y'all let's enter the boys room don't just ignore my shaky hands okay y'all i think it turned out so good it's just nice it's functional they have a lot of space to play on this right side um that door right there leads into their bathroom so it's just very accessible i love this little space um their little dino cars and their name puzzle which is missing a letter and oh i got this little dinosaur lamp too from target y'all like i said i'll link everything i did get them a new dinosaur book and these are just their old toys if i could find links to their old toys and stuff i'll um link them and yeah my dino tracks <laughs> but i think everything looks good oh i didn't even mention the little roar sign y'all put that above the light switches their name signs i got from somebody off instagram which i will link and i got their little stuffed animals from ikea so you guys can see like that foam on this side it looks higher and it really does stop them terrell's a wild sleeper and it stops him well right now his bed is turned the other way i'll tell y'all about that at the end <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. I'm so proud of myself. I had such a great time doing this and I can't wait to make the rest of my house a home. So if you guys want to see the boys reaction, then keep on watching. <laughs> Yes, dinosaurs. Y'all yeah. ready to see your new room? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> D4 dinosaurs. D4 dinosaurs, yeah. Yeah, okay. Dinosaurs. Wow. This your room. They went straight to the desk. Y'all don't notice anything else? Look. <gasps> Look around, what is it? It's a dinosaur. Yeah, it's dinosaurs. Look, you put Yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, it has dots. Oh, look at all the dinosaur cars. Look, Tara, look over here. What's this? What's this? Look on your bed. What's that? It's the elephant. Elephant. Uh, baby elephant. It is a baby elephant. You now you have three. It's a very small uh, elephant on there too. Uh, ba. <laughs> yeah, ba. Y'all remember everything? Does it feel familiar? 
It feels familiar? Ball. One thing about your bills. You'll find a ball. Y'all like your new room, your new place? Oh my goodness, look at all of the tracks. They didn't fell off that side. Hey y'all, I just wanted to come and close out the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I know you guys love the boys room because I love it. It came out absolutely perfect. I'm standing outside their door right now because they're sleeping. They did so well with those little bumpers as well. Terrell didn't fall out the bed. Travel's bed I did have to turn towards the wall because during nap time, Terrell just kept on getting in his bed and they both just kept on getting out. So since I turned Travel's bed towards the wall, that means that Terrell can't get in his bed and it means Travel can't get out. So that's the perfect solution. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do this same type of thing with other spaces in my home. Let me know if you guys like these type of home transformation or just decor videos like this. I did leave as many links down below in the description as possible for all of the items again thank y'all so much for watching as always i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye